Okay, I said I would take a video of this for a friend of mine. Um, I've been saying lately that Cleo is in TU puberty and she's fully awake for spring and, and all that. So I'm hoping that I can get a video of her behavior, um, what it is on a more day-to-day -day basis. I mean, she always seems so mellow in the videos. I don't want to misrepresent her. So I'm going to open the cage. Hi, Goober. See this look? That's the following. She's looking at my hand. You little monster. Come here, Goober. You gonna be good today? And that was a mellow response. Cleo. It makes me a little nervous that she follows my hand. To tell you the truth. Yeah, now you play so innocent. Oh, close your eyes. You're such a butt. Come on. Be a nice girl. That's just my sleeve. Cleo! <sighs> as upsetting as that is, I'm glad that I got it on tape. She was fed yesterday, and she didn't eat nearly what she should have. So, um... Yeah. Heart's going a little bit there. As you guys can see, she is not small, and she knew that was my hand the whole time. I mean, I don't feed her in this cage. Um, I also wanted to show you guys what she does to her cage on a daily basis. Cleo, no. Go back in your cage. Um, this was perfectly put together. Um, as you can see, she, I had that green water bowl back in there, and uh, she filled that full of substrate. The blue one, she filled full of substrate, and I've been, I had, it was getting clean because she also went to the bathroom in there. So I had that green one in there for now. But um, as you guys can see, Cleo has been tame her entire life. She hasn't been fed in the cage, and um, this is... This is how she's acting now. So now you guys know what I mean by tiggy puberty. She's more nippy than usual. I mean, it's not aggression, it's more food. Cleo, don't eat your mulch. She ate yesterday. I'll probably at least give her some ground beef today before I go. Because she's acting like such a nutcase. But um, yes, to all of the people that, are, that keep telling me and kept commenting on the last video that she needs a bigger cage, she does need a bigger cage. She, like and I have no other way to explain it, grew overnight. This, this growth spurt we had here probably took place over two weeks that she outgrew this. I mean, it was getting a little, a little bit of a tight fit, and now it's obviously blatantly too small. I have been talking with several people about custom cages. I just haven't heard back yet. Yeah, you little brat. And a custom cage, just FYI kids out there, runs anywhere from $200 to $500, so they're not cheap. Tigus are not cheap to keep, and as this little monster showed today, not always fun. So there we have it. Cleo being a butthole. Oh, now you go back to sleep. What a butt. And here we are in our feeding bin, after our little tantrum. With some ground beef and some banana. And I tried this exact same meal yesterday, ground beef and banana, and she wouldn't touch the beef at all. So, which led me to think that she wasn't through digesting because she wasn't hungry. And obviously, today is a different story. So while she's eating, I'm going to go straighten up her cage. Okay. And here she is, back in her cage. Let me grab the mister real quick. Monster. And sometimes I put the driftwood log over there. I move it around so she has points of interest. When I feed her, I wet down the substrate. She likes to lick water off the tiles.
she's naughty. But she's just a baby. We were nine months old yesterday, guys. On the 29th. And there we have it. My big baby. Okay. So after that last little clip, um, I guess I just really want to show you a more rounded picture of what owning a Tegu is like. Um, all of my other videos have showcased just her sweet, mellow behavior and, um, you know, search Tegu on YouTube, that's all you'll find. Either you'll find nice interaction videos where the animal is calm and, and very tame, or you'll find feeding videos and it's hard to gauge the response, you know, like if that animal's naturally aggressive when it's not eating. You never see videos like this on YouTube because keepers usually don't post them. I mean, it's not something that I'm embarrassed about, but if I wasn't trying to educate people, I wouldn't post this video. Um, I just want to show, especially some of my younger viewers who want tegus and, and uh, are basing their opinions on Cleo or on caterpillar giraffes tegus. I know um, Panzer before he died was a big star of hers and everybody loved to watch him and really wanted tegus because of him but this is just part of the behavior it's part of the package um, it's an animal just like any other animal and you know she could have been having an off day today or been upset or she was hungry obviously even though I offered food yesterday so it's just something that happens and it could be a phase but she has been like this in the cage that aggressive watching behavior for at least three weeks now so um, I'm just trying to let you guys know that though the um, owning a tegu is rewarding and it's it's you know it's great there are bumps along the road I mean they're not kittens all the time so there you have it I hope everybody learned a little something from this video um, I'm pretty sure this is just Tegu puberty in combination with it's being spring and animals always go a little haywire in spring. It's breeding season, it's come out of hibernation time, it's fill your face and grow time. So um, I'll keep doing videos on Cleo and you guys will keep seeing her and I'm going to be working with her to try and get her out of this aggressive phase. But just wanted to show you what owning a Tegu can really be like. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe.